Our FM Agri is speaking to the newly announced winners of the Communal Farmers Award of the Year. Can you please introduce yourselves and what is your role in the organization? Okay. Um, uh, I guess nervousness was never happiness. Um, so, <laughs> my name is Simpiwe. Um, uh, Simpiwe Stad, and I'm from uh, Botabelo, uh, which is an area found uh, under Bloemfontein, um, South Africa. So, um, in Botabelo, we have a um, uh, uh, Modula Kua, corporate, uh, cooperative business, uh, which has been running, I uh, guess, since 2014. Um, but previously, uh, as this was a transition from a closed corporation, which was uh, started by, our, I don't know if I say grandparents or our fathers, but yeah, definitely um, the transition was made from our grand uh, uh, dads to. Um, basically the the woman if I, I can just simply put it that way um so we are part of that uh, we are still carrying on the culture so i'm one of the directors uh, in the cooperative at this moment and um leading the way is uh, I'll, I'll hand over to her to, to just explain herself <laughs> thank you very much um i'm lindy welu dada also from mutula Kowa primary cooperative I'm also one of the directors, but my role is a ninja in the nursery. Yeah, and what we do there is we produce indigenous trees, fruit trees, shrubs, um, flowers, and vegetable seedlings. We also deliver. Yeah, that's what we are, and that's what we do. Um, okay, let me maybe start introducing myself. Um, we Pelo Musiri, local agricultural advisor and then I have started working with the group uh, a long time ago when I started working from uh, at the department uh, basically I was working with their parents and then we just decided that no but then uh, now most of them were male and then and it was a close cooperation then we say no, but then we need to change because the government is changing and the focus now is on the women. Then can we empower the women and the youth? That's where uh, Modula Kua Primary Cooperative started, whereby the men uh, change with their female, with their women, and then some put in their children. And then uh, I've seen that this group are working very hard. And uh, they have much knowledge, and uh, they are in a field whereby it's not uh, you won't find easily the black uh, farmers doing nazar. I mean, doing well in nazar. But then I feel that they still need an exposure, and also it can be an encourage to other farmers around there if they see that. No, but then there are some uh, black farmers, especially youth who are doing well under a uh, nursery or plant production. Uh, they are still being mentored by their uh, parents, even today. Okay. And what does this award mean to you? <laughs> um, definitely um, great uh, working environment, uh, better working environment, um, like growing more, learning more, and empowering more, uh, employing more. Yeah, that's what this award means to us. Um, it means a lot, uh, to be honest. Um, it means a lot um, for us as youth, especially, to um, ish have this type of um, motivation uh, to us this is uh, just you know a tap in the shoulder and say uh, you can do more you can do better carry on doing the good work and uh, for us uh, we have no words but just a lot of gratitude um, for what um, uh, the opportunity that especially Toyota has provided for us uh, or, uh, as farmers um, uh, 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 to 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 
uh, encourage us uh, in this way. Um, uh, I think uh, even with uh, their entire stakeholders, uh, whatever they are doing, uh, they cannot uh, come down. They cannot come down. They are doing a great job. And congratulations once again um, and looking forward to see more for high quality products in the market. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Very much. Yeah. OFM Lampo News.